Hi folks, thanks for tuning in and welcome back again. What you're looking at there on the floor is my Eberly Stock Gunslinger 2. This is a pack I purchased last year as part of a package deal. And I really didn't get a chance to show it to you all and I wanted to share it with you now. And when I purchased it, it actually came with two side saddlebags that you see. Here's one of them. And there's another one on the other side that I mounted on there. And it also came with a rain cover. Now, it did not come with the shooting rest that you see up on top there. And it also did not come with the little accessory pouches that go onto the waist belt. But I'll talk about those items as well. So, what we're going to do here is, I'm going to try to cover as much detail as possible. I'll break it down into sections. And it's going to be a little bit of a long review, but I want to cover as much material as possible. Over here, for demonstration purposes, I have a standard American-made rifle. That is a Winchester Model 70 with a 24-inch barrel. It has a Nikon Monarch scope on there, which is 4 to 16 power, and it has a 50 millimeter lens. And I'm going to use that rifle to demonstrate what it looks like inside the scabber, so you can see how much of the rifle actually sticks out. So. Let's get started on the review. I'm going to cover some specs. I'll talk about the applications and I'm going to bring you in closer. We're going to break down the bag, look at some of the features inside as well. So what you're looking at here is an Eberly Stock Gunslinger 2. This one is with the Intex frame system, the aluminum frame that can be removed. And it also has a scabbard to carry a long gun and that is not removable. That is actually part of the unit and it, it will allow you to carry a rifle, a shotgun, or some sort of an AR platform type carbine. Now, the material on this particular pack is a 1000 denier nylon, so it's rather robust. The weight of the pack empty is 6 pounds 12 ounces, and that translates over to about 3 kilograms. And the capacity is 2,900 cubic inches or 47.5 liters. Now the pattern that you see there, or the color, that is a Unicam 2, Universal Camouflage. Uh, this pack also comes in a Multicam. It will come in a green, coyote, black, and dry earth. Now for those that may be interested, let me just show you quickly what the dry earth looks like. This is my X2 pack and I've taken this pack to Africa, Canada, and Texas. I'll use it as a carry-on. But as you can see, it is a little bit lighter than I would say a coyote. Uh, it's a nice color contrast. And just to give you a reference of what this color looks like in case someone's interested. So this is the dry earth color. Now, getting back to this pack here, some of the applications of it are going to be obvious to some of you. It is a military bag. Uh, it's for law enforcement. But it is more commonly used by hunters for transporting, let's say, a long gun into the backcountry. And with this pack, you can actually transport a rifle with a scope on it, a bipod, um, or you could actually remove one of the saddlebags there and they sell an independent scabber, a side scabber, and you could actually mount a small uh, shotgun on there with a pistol grip. So a short uh, gun can go on the side here if you choose to do so. That would give you the option of carrying two guns into the back country. So let's get started. I'm going to talk a little bit about the rifle rest. Pardon the bump. I'm just going to spin around here. And I'm going to talk about this piece here. This was optional. Didn't come with the unit. I thought it was necessary because I use this pack for hunting and I wanted a nice stable platform to shoot from. Now I just have it laying on here. It does clip onto the pack and what this allows me to do is I could set the rifle in here for those long shots and have a nice steady platform. It is also ideal for let's say reconfirming your zero on your rifle, sighting, sighting the rifle in when you get to a destination. It does connect with those little clips in the back. Goes right into the Molly webbing. It's very easy. It's not it's a it's a lightweight item. 
it's not expensive it's padded and I thought it was a nice little feature to complete the package so this is the rifle rest or the shooting rest that I chose for this bag and I got it in the same color to match now I have mine mounted on top that's where I choose to have it because it is elevated a little bit higher but this can be mounted in the front here or if you remove one of the saddle bags it can be mounted on the side of course so once again this is the Everly stock shooting rest and that's what it looks like in the back and it's easy to remove and to attach to any bag that has molly webbing they come in different colors of course so I'll set that aside now let's talk a little bit about the scabbard and this is it in the back here as you can see and it's a rather large opening and it has two clips here to stabilize the the rifle and to keep it from moving around and it also helps to connect the buck cover that's inside here so to insert the rifle you would undo the clips and it's pretty roomy in there like I said you can get a scoped rifle in there with no problem and I'll demonstrate that in a second AR platform no problem and this is the buck cover it comes with to protect the rifle from the elements or more importantly to keep the stock from getting banged up with some branches or debris and if you have a nice rifle obviously you don't want it to get all banged up so it does come with a nice buck cover and this helps to conceal the firearm as well so when the rifles in here and you have the buck cover on you actually have a cased firearm so that's a nice little feature there's the opening let me give you a nice shot of it it's very deep and before I insert the rifle let me just show you something if you did not want to use this and you wanted to eliminate this gap you could by compressing it here and closing it down and it would ride nice and flush against your back if you were not using it to carry a firearm so that's a nice little feature now I know that some folks like to carry a tripod in here including myself for camera work I also know some folks that will carry a full-size laptop in here inside a case and I'll jam it in here and close it down so that it does have other options it doesn't just have to be for carrying a long gun now let's talk about the scabber and where it is located and let me bring in a little bit closer right there and as you can see it folds up out of the way it does have a retention clip right here and you just undo it reach in and pull it out and there is the foot of the scabber with this heavy duty material on the outside to protect the the muzzle of the firearm and what I like about it, it has a clean out port with a zipper and what you can do is you can actually get the nozzle of a vacuum cleaner in there to clean out any junk or debris that may accumulate there throughout the season so that's a nice well thought out feature and that's what it will look like when you're carrying a gun it'll have a little bit of a tail sticking out at the bottom with the muzzle of the gun now let me insert the rifle before we start breaking down uh, the pack and I'll give you a shot of what this looks like in there and I'm gonna put it down muzzle first because that's the way I carry it it will accommodate the rifle butt first for those that may be interested I just prefer to carry it this way and there it is it's seated all the way down and there you go and let me show you how much is sticking out and there you go so what you're looking at there is from the trigger guard I would say all the way up to the recoil pad is sticking out on a standard size 24 inch barrel rifle now you could put the buck cover on it if it's snowing or raining or you're going through some tough terrain and you have a very nice rifle you don't want to bang up the stock 
and this will give it some added protection. There you go. And the con to this is, it's obviously one more thing to remove if you had to get to the rifle. So there is a little bit of a disadvantage to having that on there. So let me pause the video right here. I'll remove this rifle and then we're going to get inside the bag. Stand by please. Okay, I have the rifle out of the way and let's continue with the review. What I'll do is I'll talk about the outside of the pack. I'll try to cover as much detail as possible and then we're going to open it up on, and get into the inside of it. Uh, two compression straps with heavy duty buckles for cinching the load and bringing it nice and close up against your body. It has an admin pouch here for organization and it has the side saddle bags. I'll open those up and it also has two pouches one right here and another one right here you could probably get a small stove in there maybe a Nalgene bottle and you could cinch it up but I think the way I have it configured the side saddle bags will interfere with you getting into this area here so uh, they're not that deep maybe six inches deep and about that wide but let's start talking about the bottom first because I want to show you the frame system and let me just undo this strap here and there's the frame it comes with this frame is removable if you wanted to take it off the pack I prefer having a pack with a frame I think it gives it more structure and stability it is also a nice platform for setting the pack down and squaring it off so that's a nice added feature over the old pack that they've improved on. Uh, I've already showed you the scabber. I have it put away with the clip on there. And before we start getting into all the pouches, let me just show you the harness system quickly. And there you go. As you can see, it is on a ladder, so it is adjustable. And you can simply remove the Velcro, find a sweet spot for you that's going to give you the most amount of comfort or the best fit and you're good to go and it also has a sternum strap right here and it'll ride all along this rail here until you can get it perfectly centered to keep the straps where you want them the shoulder straps are padded there you go and let me give you a close up of the padding there and the belt. Now I still sweat when I wear this pack even in the winter. Um, I've never found a pack that keeps your back cool. There is decent ventilation in there but I but I still sweat no matter which kind of pack I wear. But it is comfortable. It does tend to ride a little bit higher than some of your other packs. Um, let me spin it around and talk about another feature that I like on the outside. You have a grab handle right here, which is something that I like. There is a grab handle here, and I can use this for pulling it out of the truck. And there is another grab handle right here, so it is very well pointed with different areas to grab it. And if you like to put it on by grabbing it and flipping it over your back, you can do that with the grab handles because that aids in mounting the pack. Now let's talk about this front pocket here. It has a front front pocket here and in there you could carry a rain cover which I do and a poncho. And this is what the rain cover looks like. It came with the unit. It came in this little bag and it's the same color to match the pattern of the gunslinger. Very nice. It's lightweight and this is part of the package. There's enough room in here to carry a poncho like I said and it goes all the way down and there's my fingers moving at the very bottom of the bag. So this is this is ideal for keeping items that you want to get to quickly without going inside the pack. Let's talk about, about the side saddle bags. These also came with the package and they're rather large this is one right here. It has an adjustable strap so you can ride this up and make it a little bit larger. You can expand on the volume. And in this one I just have a 40 ounce 
clean canteen. It is full and that rides in there with no problem. I just wanted to show you the kind of space that these things have. You know, you could put a spotting scope in there as long as it's in the case. I wouldn't put it in there with just the glass exposed. And in this one I have a full size uh, Stanley thermos. And I always carry a thermos when I go into the woods, especially in the winter, with hot coffee or tea. Now I may not carry this thermos, I have others, but I always carry a thermos to bring that core temperature up. Now, it did not come with these pouches. Here's one, and here's another one. These are accessory pouches, and I thought it was a nice complement to the pack because this was wasted space on the belt. There was nothing there, and I wanted to put something where I can get to items while I'm walking on the waistband, very convenient, and double zippers. Uh, I think I have a talon here, but you can put whatever you want in here. Obviously, you're going to want to put items that you may want to get to without tearing the bag open or while you're walking, ideally a smartphone, a GPS, perhaps a range finder, some snacks, things along those lines. And I have another one on the other side. And in this one, I keep, let's see, I just have some trail markers in there. And I have one of my zebra lights. So I have a headlamp in there. And I'd say they're about the size of, I don't know, a large grapefruit. And there you go. So you can get a nice close up. And that's what they look inside, look like inside. Now, if you notice, they're not dark inside. They're a little bit lighter. Some color contrast, which is important to me. And I have a Maxpedition bag that's black inside, and it's a little bit difficult to find things some, sometimes. It, it's dark like this. Now, the inside of this Everly stock, when I open it up, you'll see it has a nice color contrast. Now, I also talked about there being a little bag or excuse me, a little pouch on the side here. Here it is. About six inches deep. It does have a draw cord here. If you wanted to put a bottle in there and tighten it up so you don't lose it. You could put a fire making kit in there, spare gloves. And let me just show you the other one that's on this side. And there you go. So you get two of those, which is nice. It has Velcro here for a nameplate or some sort of a, a marking if you wanted to put it on there with Velcro. It has this little zippered area with a waterproof zipper and it's felt lined. It's pretty small. I'm not exactly sure what I put in here. I wouldn't put sunglasses in there because this is a high impact area, uh, especially sunglasses without a case and with the case it's just not going to fit in here. This is about three inches deep and about eight inches long I would say. Um, perhaps batteries, small pen light, medication, uh, candy bar, something like that. Now this is the admin pouch that I previously spoke about for organization. Now I do use this. Uh, this comes in very handy and it has double zippers and it's pretty roomy. I have some, these are Zippo uh, warmers, you light them up, fill them with fluid. I also have hand warmers, toe warmers, body warmers, my hunting license and credentials, tags and permits, and some cleaning items there, some gloves, wet wipes, things to get the blood off me, a little bag to put all the garbage in and carry it off the mountain. But let me just show you a shot of this, but it has little pencil grooves for your pens. And these here are designed to carry extra magazines and you could cinch them down and put a full magazine in here from an AR type platform and they'll fit in there. So that's just a couple of things that I carry in there. So this is the organizational pouch. Now in some of the other Everly stocks this piece is actually removable. It comes off, you can wear it as a fanny pack or you could wear it across the chest as a courier pack or a messenger bag. 
but this one is not removable. It is stitched and sewn on here so it doesn't come off. Now, let's get inside the bag. We've covered mostly on the outside. It does have a storm collar up here with this lock cord on here. Now, this is optional. I put this on there. This is a little nano light. And I use this for the obvious, if I'm searching for some snacks or anything, and it's dark out and I want to get to a specific item in the bag, I can use this. And it doesn't weigh a lot, but it's a nice little added convenient feature, and it doesn't cost a lot of money. So a little Nano Light by Streamlight. Now, the great thing about this pack is, let me just undo these buckles, is that it's top loading and it's front loading. And the zippers open all the way down. Now on my Maxpedition they open about three quarters of the way. And in my opinion, if you have something that opens all the way, it's easier to get everything in, it's easier to get everything out, and it's also easier to inventory your load and see what you have. So, dual zippers, let me just pull this sleeping bag out of here. Get that out of the way. There's the top opening. And let me give you a better shot of that. There we go. So it's rather large. Dual zippers. And as you can see, this is what I'm talking about. Look at that big opening. You can immediately access all your contents, clothing items, whatever you need. And everything's completely exposed. You can lay it on its back and to me, this is very advantageous. I mean, this is an ideal way to get into and out of your pack. It has Molly throughout the door. If you want to customize it, personalize it with some items, perhaps some knives, first aid kit, or whatever. It has more webbing along the interior wall. And it also has more on the other side. So like I said, this pack has a lot of organization nice color contrast there we go now it has two pouches here they're very long I like to keep socks in there or a balled up shirt or some food it does have clips on top here's one clip and here's another clip now I don't think the water bladders that I have will fit in here I have hundred liter or excuse me hundred ounce ones and they're not going to fit in there, so I'd have to figure another way if I wanted to do that. But it also has pockets on the sides here. There's one here. And let me bring in a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. It has two along the kidneys. And then another one up against this wall. So a lot of options for organizing. I like to keep... Um, some sock liners in here, perhaps some gloves. Uh, generally speaking, this will be all food and clothing items when I go into the uh, back country. I like to be very comfortable. So, this is the pack. Let me, um, let me put it all back together. I'll talk about some cons and then we will close out. Okay folks, I have the bag reassembled and I just wanted to do a quick wrap up. I'll touch on a couple of cons and I'll also put a little write up in the description section. But one of the cons is the obvious. The bag's going to be a little bit on the heavy side for a moderate size bag. It's coming in at six pounds, 12 ounces, or three kilograms, and there's no way around that. Also, when I'm carrying a rifle inside the scabbard area, I do feel a little bit of a bulge or a lump back there. So that's something I wanted to point out. And the last thing I'll say about carrying a rifle within the scabbard is that I've seen some commercials where the actor will pretend to see an animal reach behind his neck and extract the rifle real quick to make a shot on an animal. Um, I could tell you that's easier said than done. When this pack is completely filled with gear and equipment and all that gear is compressed and pressing up against the scabbard area there is going to be friction and pressure and it's going to be very difficult to extract that firearm from behind your back 
not to mention that there's two clips on top there and the scope or the sling could get caught up on that generally speaking I have to put my pack down on the ground undo the clips and then extract the rifle I'm just sharing that from a realistic point of view but in summary I'll say that this pack is robust it is well built it has plenty of features and accessories I can scale this pack up by adding the different pouches to it or I can scale it down by removing them these packs have been used all over the globe and there's a good reason why they are professional grade packs they are premium packs and they are ideal for either transporting a long gun into the backcountry or the battlefield so once again you're looking at the Everly Stock Gunslinger 2 this is the model with the Intex frame system and I'm sure the pack you choose will be the right one for you. Thanks for tuning in and see you all next time.